What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is 2023 Gold Rush Extravaganza Football Jersey Edition. This is a six-box case break, random teens number two. And as you can see, guys, the majority of these jerseys, if not all of them, will be custom. But as you can tell, some of them obviously are uh, matching their, their pro teams. So, of course, it is 32 solo spots. Everybody's around the NFL. Just remember, collegiate, non-pro jerseys. Go to the team they played for the longest if retired or current team if they're active. Now, of course, join the extravaganza. Take a look at these outstanding stars like Tristan McCaffrey, Dan Marino, John Montana, Kenny Pickett, 1990s Buffalo Dynasty jersey. And there's a Philadelphia QB's Legends. So that one's kind of cool. It has uh, Jaworski, Cunningham, McNabb, and Vic. And, of course, Tyreek Hill and many more. So... Let's do the randomizer first, guys. Here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names and the teams. Let's click dice roll it. And it is a six and a four ten times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times. Ten, ten. Karen down to Jason K. Ten times. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dolphins down to the Texans. All right. Yeah, I know, right? States with us. All right, Cameron with the Dolphins, Peter with the Titans, Victor with the Cardinals, Bryce with the Bills, Joseph with the Chargers, Alexander with the Ravens, Charles with the Commanders, Joseph with the Panthers, Bryce with the Steelers, uh, Jonathan with the Falcons, Charles with the Cowboys, Peter with the Patriots, Garrett with the Bears, Jonathan with the Raiders, Cameron with the Broncos, Peter with the Giants, Zachary with the Packers, Joseph with the 49ers, Jonathan with the Lions, Peter with the Seahawks, Kyle with the Bengals, Joseph with the Chiefs, Jonathan with the Saints, Victor with my Eagles. Uh, Peter with the Bucks, Kev with the Browns, Adam with the Rams, Kyle with the Vikings, Bryce with the Jets, Jonathan with the Colts and Jaguars, and then Jason K with the Houston Texans. So I'll give you guys a few minutes or a minute or so if there's any trades. Looks like Garrett wants to trade the Bears, so if anybody's interested in that. Um, just remember, guys, of course, you know, if you don't see anybody else wanting to trade, minus you or another person in the chat, and you guys really want to pull off a trade, I would suggest trading with each other. It is still a little early, not too many people watching, so they'll probably be watching the recording of this video. McNabb, Mike, 100%. McNabb was, was everything to me when I was a kid. Sucks he didn't get that Super Bowl win. Because if he would have gotten that Super Bowl win, I think, I think he'd be a Hall of Famer. I still think he'll eventually get in, but... McNabb, McNabb, McNabb. I mean, probably for Nick, but I don't think for Boss. I mean, I'm sure Nick, I'm sure Boss would probably like Cunningham or, or Ron Jaworski more. He's more of the older guy, so. Vic was great too, though, but he didn't, he didn't play here long enough. Or at least wasn't starting long enough. Eventually, you'll probably swap, like, Vic for like Jalen Hurts, you know, because if you had to put it in there, Vic is the only one that didn't play in a Super Bowl for the Eagles. Alrighty, Garrett, I don't think anybody's going to want to share with you, man. There's probably not many people watching that are in this break. So, let's close it. Ooh. 
Who knows though, man? That could be a nice little Bears jersey in there for you though. Alright, so let me grab the case. I have it right here behind me. And since it's a little early, not many people watching, just show the jerseys. Knife, knife, knife over here. Um, I think this is the only case we have, so I'll double check, but I don't know if we have any more after this, though. I know we still have a box or two available on the personal side, though. If anybody wanted to buy a personal box of this. It's pretty cheap, to be honest. I think they're only like $100 a jersey. So, still an opportunity there for you guys. They might. <laughs> Probably get like a nice fields or something. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo's for real. Alright, here we go guys. So that we hit this one, we gotta keep it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've never seen him do one of the Eagles like that. Yeah, I know, right? Looks like either old Jets colors or. Oh, actually, you know what? No. This is uh, Moore. This is, well, it's custom, obviously, but it's Elijah Moore. Authentic signed pro green jersey. So, of course, it has Beckett's COA, but as you can see, it's custom, so the colors aren't really always going to match up. But these are great for just framing, to be honest. I mean, it's cool to get an authentic jersey. It does have more value, but honestly, if you're just going to frame it up, it doesn't really matter whether there's a licensing in on it or not. So, of course, Elijah Moore there It's going to go to the Jets. And uh, New York Jets is Bryce. Signature? Is that like a J? JR? Oh wow, is that Jeff Garcia? That's cool. I actually really like Jeff Garcia. Liked him when he was an Eagle even more, but he was a pretty good quarterback for the 49ers for a few years there with Terrell Owens. Very nice Jeff Garcia jersey. Um, definitely 49ers though. But it doesn't have the little sticker that it usually has. But yeah, this is definitely a 49ers jersey. Jeff Garcia. It was one year, I think, in 2006, McNabb. That's when he, uh, I think he got his, like, uh, his groin. Had a sports hernia, sorry. And Jeff Garcia had to come in and uh, lead the Eagles to a playoff, playoff uh, game. Pretty cool. I think after that 49ers, right? I think he got paid in like in Cleveland. That didn't really work out. It went to my Eagles, it went to like the Bucks, and then. I'm not sure. What, I don't know, actually you know what? I'm not, I've seen him recently in, in the news or outlet. I don't know if he's a reporter or works for somebody, but. 
Oh, that's 49ers. Oh, Joseph, last bomb Mojo. That's kind of a cool one. I like that. Four more. Oh yeah, what's his middle name? Jason? I think he was also an undrafted quarterback as well, right? Played like in, in the arena football or in Canada, I think. That looks like Minnesota Vikings. A something B Junior twenty three Booth Junior is that Andrew Booth Junior I think is that is that right Booth Junior let's look at the COA definitely looks like a Minnesota Vikings there really oh I gotta look that up Ed. <laughs> And yes, Andrew Booth Jr. is a cornerback for the Minnesota Vikings. Number 23. There you go. Booth Jr. Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, that is going to Kyle Harper. There you go, man. So yeah, not the names you would always see. And again, guys, the reason why, you know, they're only $100 a box. But there is going to be some nice ones that will definitely be worth way more than Incognito. <laughs> Alright, three more to go, guys. There we go. Let's hit a nice one, though. Let's hit like one of those dynasty ones. Autograph right here. This is like a college one already. So, again, I'm thinking this is maybe Vince Young already. I, I recognize his signature. Anybody recognize that? I think it is a Vince Young, which actually I prefer it being a. Uh, I prefer it being a uh, college actually because it's probably worth a lot more. You know he he did show signs and great of greatness. You know he did pretty well rookie season, a couple of years there with the Titans, and then kind of just kind of just fell off. But again, he was another quarterback for my Eagles during that like dream team era. But. uh but yeah, that's a Vince Young. And again, guys, obviously collegiate stuff's going to go to the teams they're currently on or teams they play for the longest, which I want to say Vince Young is still going to be probably Titans the longest. And yeah, basically. I think he only played actually after my Eagles one year. That was it. So yeah, Titans, five years, Eagles one year. So... Unfortunate, man. He had a really, really good rookie season, too. Alrighty. So, Tennessee Titans with that one. Uh, 
Uh, Tennessee Titans is Peter Lombardo. Two more boxes. Da -da 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 -da. All right, that's got to be like Green Bay Packers, right? This is like a really, really dark green. Is that eighty six? Trying to think, who's 86 Green Bay Packers? Older player? Jennings was like 85. Oh, Freeman. Sorry, one of the older players. I think is Antonio Freeman, right? Was that his name? Yes, Antonio Freeman. Man, he had one season, man, when he was 26. He had 84 receptions for 1,400 yards. 17 yards per reception. Averaging 94 yards a game. Previous year had 1,200, then 1,000, then kind of a little slowly declined. But, uh, Antonio Freeman. little blast in the past there. Mid-90s to early 2000s. I think he was part of those Super Bowl run teams, although I think they lost that one year to the Broncos, right? All right, Green Bay Packers. Zachary Snell. All right, one more, guys. One more. I feel like they've been okay names. Maybe one big banger here at the end. Oh, this one has an inscription. Hall of Fame 98. I've got to think this is like Mike Singletary, right? Yeah. That's my kind of party. Mike Singletary. Bears. Hall of Fame 98. And there you go, Garrett. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. <laughs> the last one. There's the autograph there. Inscription, Hall of Fame 98. There you go. Hall of Famer. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna want to close all of a sudden now. There we go. Alrighty, guys. Well, some decent names, you know, not not the craziest names, but some fun ones. And, um, hey guys, it's only a 20 buck break. Garrett. So appreciate it, folks. I'll double check if we have any more. If we do, I'll pull some more. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.